Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can create a variable product that has different options for your clients. For example, difference in color, difference in size, and difference in price. So let's get started and see how to go about that. Back inside our WooCommerce dashboard, we are going to come over here to products and we are going to add a new product. And here we are going to simply add the name of the product then we are going to add the full description of that product. In this case, I advise that you describe the product depending on the shape, the color, the style, or whatever that product can be used for. So I'll simply just grab here a dummy text for myself. And I'll simply just come over here. So I'll use this as my full description of the product. And the full description of the product appears just down below here. For example, when I open up this product, this down here is the full description of the product. So it can be describing how it was made, you know, the process of making it, the different designs, how they can use it, and how, you know, the materials actually that were used. So that's what you can add over right here. Then uh, down below here is a short description of the product that appears just over here. So after the name, the price of the item, and then here comes the short description of the product. So I'll simply just come over here, grab this text and use that for this specific product. Then uh, we scroll down below here and then under the product data is where we are going to select that this is actually a variable product because it has different options. Then after selecting the variable product, we are going to first create our attributes. So under the attributes, we're going to say, you know, add custom product attribute. So by clicking add product attribute, here we're going to first add the first attribute called color. And we want to use it for variations. And over here, the different colors that we have, we have white, add a pipe. And then we have gold or brown. And then we're going to add a pipe. And then we have one called dotted. So we will only use three variations. And then we're going to say save attribute. And then we're going to add another attribute. This is based on the texture. Okay, so, so the texture we have two textures or actually three textures for this specific product we are going to add. We have one that is having an elephant inspiration, add our pipe. And then we have one that is dotted, add a pipe. And that's all. Those are the only two different textures that we have for this specific product. And we want to use this specific attribute for variations. So we save it. And then what we're going to do now is come straight here to variations. Under variations, we are going to create variations from all attributes. So I'll simply say, okay, and then I create those variations. So four of them have been created. And boom, so what I'm going to do is expand over here. And I'm going to add an SKU for this specific product variation. So I'm going to say this is 411. And we want to manage the stock. So in this case, we have you know a certain number of these items in the stock. So we are going to say 20. And the price for this item, let me say, is 999 or 899. And we don't have a sell price, or there is no sell at the moment. We may also choose to allow back orders. That is, even when the items are out of stock, the client can still order for this item, but we don't want to allow that. The weight of this item is going to be 0.5 or actually 0.3 and the length, width and the height of this product for all the products, it is the same. So I can choose to add the weight and the dimensions of these products under uh, the shipping option over here, the weight, the dimension, because this is going to be the default. So what I'm going to do instead of adding the price, but I prefer to use a variation option for all the products. So this is going to be three randomly four, and height is going to be, let me say, a seven. And the shipping class is going to stay same as a parent. You can still add a description for this specific variation. 
So for example, when someone comes over here to this variation and clicks on the first variation, there comes a short description or a description about that specific variation. That is what we are having to feed in over here. What I'm going to do is I'll simply just copy this and I'll add it over here to this product. It's basically describing or further giving more details about this specific variation. Now this is going to be white and an elephant texture. So I'm going to come over here, upload an image for that specific mug. So it's going to be white and an elephant texture. I copy it or I drag it into the image library. Then I'm going to add that specific variation. Then I'm now going to open up another product variation. So white and dotted. So for white and dotted, we don't have any of that specific item for now. So if I don't add any of this, it will show basically out of stock. So I'm not going to add this variation, but I'm going to come to brown and elephant. So I come over here, I'm going to add the stock keeping unit, which is going to be 412. And I'll manage the stock. I'll make sure we only have 20 in stock. And over here, I'm going to add the regular price, which is 899 for this product. And the dimensions may differ for a specific product. So I can simply just say 3, 4, and 7 to be the same and the weight of this item is going to be the same weight as the first one which is 0 0.3 or 300 grams and we can also add a short description of that specific variation so just copy this come over here add our short description and then we are going to add our image for the brown elephant so brown and elephant come over here brown and elephant let me just open this up for you to look at it. It's a brown elephant mug. So drag it over here. And there we go. We have set the variation for that product. And down here, we want to add another variation. So brown and dotted. Let me start this time around with the image. So I come over here, brown and dotted, which is this. It can even be this one over here. So I'm going to grab it add it over there then I set this image as a variation the SKU is going to be 413 remember they should be different or they should be unique stock keeping unit numbers come down here we want to manage the stock Our regular price is 899 it can also be a different price for that specific variation uh, stock is going to be 20 also and uh, we don't allow back orders weight is 0 0.3 and length width and height is going to be the same three uh, four and seven and short description for that item uh, basically this is what we are trying to add for this item just over here and that's all I'm done with my variations what I'm now going to do is save changes. Now, after that is done, I'm going now to come over here to the product categories. We are going to add this to the mugs and the product tags. We are going to say maybe it's texture. We already have a product tag called textures and we also have another product tag called mugs. And maybe we can add another product tag called handmade. Okay, so handmade, there it is. Actually, it's available, so I can just say add. And we are going to add a product image. So the product image is going to be the kind of the featured image everyone will see once they open up that product or once they are viewing the product page. So over there, I add that image. Actually, I had already added this image. I can select it from the library, so I can just use this but also we're going to add a product gallery. So this is going to include all the images for this specific product. So I'm going to come back over here and I'll select all the other images I need to add. So I'm going to say this, 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 this. I'll say that's all for now. I think I have this. I don't have this. 
So I'll drag this into the media library. And then I'll also add other images by command clicking, you add others onto that specific gallery. So I'll add to the gallery. So we have all these images for the dotted, for the white elephant and for the brown elephant. Okay, now all looks good. Uh, when we come here to advanced, we can enable a purchase note that will be sent to a client once they order a specific item. Uh, we can also enable reviews so that clients are able to review our products. Cool, now everything looks fine and neat. We've added our attributes, we've added our variations, and we've also enabled reviews. So now what we simply have to do is we can now preview our product to see how it looks like. So this is the featured image we chose. And now we have the other images down below here. Now, if I choose a color, for example, I want white and the texture, I want elephant. Of course, that's the only option available. You see automatically the image for the white elephant texture coming up over here. Now, when I choose brown and the texture is elephant automatically, the brown textured mark shows up with the elephant and if i choose the option for dotted now the mark for dotted shows up over here it's a different product description and short description of that specific product it shows how many are in stock now remember we never added a variation for a certain product so when i come over here to variations we don't have a white dotted mark so when you click over here you see we never added any details that's why in the variations you don't see a white even dotted mark over here so we have dotted option but we don't have the option for white if we had added that product over here obviously it would also show up over here but since it's not available then it doesn't show up but once maybe it comes up in stock you can simply just add uh, one that is white and it is dotted just like this instead of brown anyway now let's look into the other product details the full description of the product the additional information of that specific product now if we change this to another product for example elephant elephant shows up over here and if we had chosen a different weight and dimensions for that product of course they would also be changing over right here now what we have to do is very simple just come back over here and we are going to publish our product now we go straight onto our product page and boom there we are we have created our first variable product which is a ceramic mug or ceramic mugs and for the very first product which is actually a brown dotted mug brown and it is dotted that is what shows up over right here and the client has the options to look through all the other product images and they can add to cart obviously also read the full description of the product and also the other product details in a nutshell that's how you can create your very first variable product in woocommerce and in case you have any questions or comments regarding creating products in woocommerce let me know down in the comment box below if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video, please give it a like because that actually helps me out. Thank you so much. Have a good time and goodbye.